What's going on trainers? Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Shining Pearl. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, today we are still in the Great Marsh. Uh, last episode we got Defog from this green haired fella over here. Um, and took a break and tried to figure out if we wanted to continue in the Great Marsh or go and use Defog because we had to backtrack. And decided we should, you know, we, we should be here. We, we spent 500 Pokebucks to explore, so figured why not explore and try to catch some Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Who is it? Oh, it's a Meryl. Hello, buddy. Hi, with your big blue ears. Oh. Oh, we don't fight. Okay, so maybe throw some bait? Seems to like it. Will he like it enough to let us catch him? Throw Safari Ball. What do they look like? Oh, okay. I'm just a little camo ball. Awesome. First catch in the Great Marsh. A success. I think that's off to a good start. Meryl. Aqua Mouse Pokemon. The tip of its tail is filled with oil that is lighter than water, so it acts as a float. Uh, we have Gyarados. So let me pop you in there. But we will... Use you later to get a zoo Meryl and then hopefully maybe a ditto so we can get a, uh, a little baby Meryl. A bye Barrel, we already have you, bud. So I think we're gonna run. Don't mind us, not that you're not cute, but I don't think we need to. I don't think anybody. Oh, another one. Oh my gosh. Bud, I need you to go away. Come on. All right, let's, uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is that? No, don't do it again. Okay. I don't like that. Do we need this, really? Do we need a mud pit that <laughs> eats you alive in a park? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, Hoot Hoot. We actually have a Hoot Hoot from the Grand Underground. I really don't know what Pokemon are all available in this area. Oh my gosh, if it's a Hoot Hoot. Oh, it's Wi-Fi. Hey, buddy. Uh, you want some bait? Want a little treat? Want a snack? Uh, he didn't seem to care for it so much. I don't know if he's gonna let us catch him, but here's hoping. Four, click, perfect, got it. And this little fella evolves into Quagsire, I think. Wooper, water fish Pokemon. When the temperature cools in the evening, they emerge from water to seek food along the shore. Awesome, let's pop you in the box. Oh my gosh. I don't mind the Pokemon, but can I, can I take a step for a second? Like a couple steps, not just one? Maybe, please? I don't know, I, I, maybe it's just me, <laughs> uh, but I feel like the spawn rates are a little too high. What's this button? Oh, okay. Uh, no, we're good for right now. Don't get hit. I'm um, actually, do we battle people in here? I don't think we do, because we don't have Pokemon. When you're walking on boggy parts, sometimes you get sucked down. Getting free from the bog takes time, which is a luxury in the Safari game. Is it? Is it? I don't know. Another whooper. Uh, let's go over here. I wish we kind of had like a map. I think that would be helpful. Um, maybe, hmm, 
<laughs> Bluetooth? It's a Bidoof. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe if we go into a different area, we'll see different Pokemon. I don't know. I wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna complain about the game, but <laughs> a high spawn rate with such small repetition. Or not small repetition, just repetition of like a small batch of Pokemon can just get a little, I don't know, eh, sometimes? Uh, do we, what, what just happened? Area four. It just take us up one. Okay. I'm sorry, what? I'm confused. So if we go to area six, is it just going to go down? What? What is going on here? We just go up and down. So is this not like a... Is this not like a big area? Because the NPCs made it sound like it was a, <laughs> a huge place. I don't know. Yeah, because we were... Okay. Alright. Well, maybe we can find an online map somewhere. Because <laughs> it just seems a bit rough. Like, where's the perimeter? Or is it one of those things where you need, like, surf to get through? Yeah, and I don't like these little... <laughs> Can we fly out of here? Where's the, uh... Yeah, can we fly? I can't use that here. I think we're gonna leave. <laughs> uh, sorry. Maybe we'll come back. Um, oh, oh, time's up. Let's see. Actually, that was a short time, which is probably for the best, considering uh, that whole area seems frustrating. So maybe we'll make an episode where we just explore that. We just go in mentally prepared for, and don't be mad at me for saying this, but for a hot mess of a safari that is. So yeah, let's just, uh, we can't fly to the cabin. Okay. Well, let's go to Soleil's town, use the fog in that area, and continue upward and do our little mini quest for Cynthia. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's hop on our bike. Oh, oh, come on, you got it. There we go. And then this is where we free the side duck last episode. I need you to get off the bike. Thank you. There we go. What are you? Oh, oh, that's right. We already, you scared us the last time. Okay, so you can't see them in the grass. It's good to know. Uh, we are gonna run. Yeah, let's get back to the area where we were. Here we go. Now, how do I activate? Do I have to go into the pokage? Okay, oh, no. Go ahead. Defog. Wild sh 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 star raptor? What's a star raptor? Oh! Okay, so our star avia evolves. Huh. Okay, good to know. Uh, sure. I don't know how to tell when the- oh, okay. Hello. Uh, we already fought you? Cool. Uh, yeah, let's cut this down. Uh, let's do a little jump. Alright, what you got? As an ace trainer, I have to take battles in stride. I need to stay cool and calm whether I win or lose. I feel like she's not going to stay calm when we whip her butt, but that's all right. Oh my gosh, I thought she was wearing an eye patch for some reason. <laughs> all right, Luxray, you got this, buddy. Oh, he's all happy. Give him a little hop hop. Uh, let's go for a thunder shock. All right, 
right, let's do uh, let's do a spark. Let's change it up a little bit. All right, who's next? A uh, Grotol. Grotol, Grotol, Grotol. That is the middle evolution of Turtwig, right? Let's get Infernape about. It's been a while since we've seen him. Look, he's jiving, he's dancing, he's hopping. Uh, let's see, how about, uh, how about a little fire blast? Turn up the heat in the kitchen a little bit. There you go. Should give some good XP. Oh yeah, definitely. Level 38. Level 23 for Meditite. Uh, Calm Mind. No, we're, we're good. We're gonna let him just level up and evolve. Same thing with Shieldon and Bunnery. Hopefully that's soon so we can swap out. We lost. Well, not we, you did, but that's all right. Easily mistaken. Uh, who, actually, how do we, we need, I need to figure out what move it is that lets you climb up those rocks there, because I would like to figure that out. Hello. Jen, watch this. I'm gonna use everything you've taught me. So it's a 2v1? It is, okay. And you only have one each. I like his outfit. Oh, okay. Okay, we're throwing out the big guns. Got it, right. So, pretty much like a, a mirror of our team versus theirs. Electric water, electric water. So, maybe we can do this smart and keep Gyarados away from that Raichu. Oh my gosh. All right, so, Thunder on Gyarados. And maybe a hyper beam on Raichu? I mean, I feel bad for the little mouse, but you know. Survival of the fittest. And plus the hyper beam. It looks cool. Ooh, shield on level 20. One hit KO? Oh my gosh, Raichu. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wow, not even, I mean, half. Oh, shoot. Oh, at least he didn't go for Gyarados. So that's good, right? All right, looks right. Let's get you a bite in there. And then maybe we'll double up with, uh... oh, okay, or not. Gyarados doesn't need to do it. Oh, well, I guess that has to recharge because of the Hyper Beam, right? All right, level 23, Banary. I just got embarrassed in front of my little buddy here. Wow, someone that's even better than Jen? Ooh, big bucks, okay. All right, let's go up. Is it just filled with ace trainers? You seem to have a lot of confidence. Let's see if it's justified. Oh, that was a, a fella talking. Okay, my bad. Moth him? What's a moth him? What are you? It looks like a weird, like... I don't know, like an art deco version of Butterfree? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It looks weird. Odd. Uh, though I feel like I've seen it in uh, Pokemon Snap. Maybe? It kind of looks like Score Bunny a little bit. It's got those front colors. Also, does Gyarados learn any other moves when it levels up? Uh, Onyx. Uh, yeah, let's get Gyarados. Or do we have to just use TMs now? I forget how that works. Like, I don't know if he knows any dragon moves when he levels up. So we'd still like to get a, some sort of dragon move, whether it's Dragon Rage or... Is there another one? Draco Shower? I feel like maybe that's one, or maybe I'm just making that up. I don't know. Uh, let's see, we want Ice Beam or Aqua Tail. Uh, let's go Ice Beam. Let's see what kind of damage that does. Uh, it does total knockout damage. Awesome.
sweet. Uh, Lucio. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, let's get Infernape out. We don't have any ground or rock types. All right, buddy, let's go uh, Flame Wheel. Oh, he's holding on. Okay. Don't paralyze us. Good, 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 good. All right, another Flame Wheel, and then we can be on our way. Uh, no, we're good on, we're good on that. Onward, onward, onward. Hopefully we're still going the right way. Cause it felt like we can go up also. I don't know, I guess we couldn't. Okay, then yeah, we're going the right way. What is this? What is that? Is that like a bike thing? It is a bike thing, okay. Well wait, then what's down here? Uh, looks like there's a move over there. Well now I'm curious, what's uh, we might have to double back, but let's see what this... Okay. Oh, it just takes us here. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll go back. I like this area. Oh! Oh, that's going to go perfect for our... Oh, who should we give it to? Should we give it to Haunter? Or... Okay. Well, looks right. Back up. Um, or should should we give it to... Uh, ba -ba -ba Kadabra? Oh, I don't know. We still got time though, because maybe we'll hold off until we can get a Algazam and a Gengar. This buff physique isn't just for show. One Pokemon, is it a Geodude or a Machop? It's a Machoke, <laughs> different, ish. All right, I believe in you Luxray, you can do it. Go for a thunder shock. Well, that didn't do too much damage. Oh shoot! Is that gonna be like a super strong attack? He's getting pumped. Okay, maybe we can make him flinch, but I don't. Thunder. There we go. Good job, buddy. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that noise was. But let's make our way down here. What is this? Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. Oh my gosh. We're a bell. We ninjas appear where we... Where we... We ninjas appear where you least expect us. All right, Ninja, what you got? You got a Krogonk. Which, if I remember correctly, electric attacks don't affect it. Maybe we'll be good with bite. Oh no, it says effective. Never mind. what am I talking about? Yeah, there we go. You got it, buddy. Uh, Cobat. Nope, we'll stay, because that is a flying type as well. And we just use another another spark. And it should be a total knockout. Yeah, there you go. Uh, no, we're good. We're good. We'd like Metatite to evolve, though. I didn't expect to lose. All right, well, let's see. Let's see what this item is. Uh, smoke ball, okay. So just a, another variation of a Pokeball? Who are you, are you a ninja? 
I'll teach you about the charms of bird Pokemon. Okay, bird catcher. Probably not good for a Luxray. Or against a Luxray. Ooh, I like the little feather animations there. That's a nice touch. Nice little touch. Also, she looks like a bird. I'm sure that's intentional, <laughs> but she looks like a bird. I like the hairstyle though. All right, let's get a spark and we can be on our way. You got another bird? You do, you have a knocked owl. You got a big bird. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Okay, holding out a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't use confusion or anything. I don't know. A little tiny peck. That ain't nothing. It's baby damage. Ooh, double leveled up. Okay. Anyone feel like evolving? Wow, I admit, I'm quite surprised. Ooh, black, oh no, okay. I kept this on that black screen. I thought someone was about to evolve. Also, how do we get down there? I guess we need to go down the waterfall. Also, what's up here? Oh, hello. Me? Lose to someone so young? I dare say not. Who is this? I don't recognize the outfit. Veteran Brian. Water type. I don't know why I was expecting fire. Maybe because he's kind of dressed like Ray from or Sailor Mars from Sailor Moon. But I was kind of expecting a fire. So that's a nice surprise. Not surprised enough for our Lux Ray with all his electrical attacks of death, but no surprise nonetheless. A Grefig. Uh, no, I think we're good. Was that Psychic Dark? Or just Dark? Or just Psychic? I don't remember. Uh, uh, Bite, so it has to be a Psychic. Uh, Machoke. 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 Uh, let's send out a Ferny. Just in case. Uh, let's see. Let's give it. A, let's give it a close combat. Let's give this Machoke a taste of its own medicine. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, little hearts. Let's see what's up here. Oh, it's berries. Um, this one doesn't look familiar. Oh, it's a wiki berry? I thought we already had those. Maybe it did look familiar. All right, well, let's head up this way. This looks towny. Uh, it is townish. All right, well, let's heal first. And talk to folks in the Poke Center. Oh, no. This is interesting. Let's see your Pokemon. It clearly likes you very much. You can have this. Oh, okay, thank you. It's about trust between the trainer and the Pokemon. Developing trust in each other is the key to victory. What would bring you to a place so far off the beaten path? There's nothing to see here but some ancient Pokemon etchings. How ancient? Like Palkia and Dialga aging or like the Reggie's aging? They say this town has been here since Sinnoh was made. Okay. Hi, Nurse Joy. Can you heal my Pokemon, please? Thank you. And you will see us again soon, I'm sure. 
I know there's no gym in this town, but does it just wrap around and then? Okay, that's another route. So we gotta find her grandmother. Hey, do you know what they say? They say a Pokemon created the Sinnoh region. Is that Arceus? Ooh, are you gonna give us your happini? Oh, excuse you. I must bear down and train, and for that, time is unimportant. Therefore, I have no need for a watch. Take this from me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Are you the big lady in charge? There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There was anything there, but they only seemed to make him angry. He's saying he will blow the, the town up with a, a what? Who are these people? The nerve of it all. Indeed. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. All right. Well, let's go ahead and figure out what's going on there. Is it you? Howdy. Studying up on local history? Okay. He just pushed us, but that's fine. If I climb to the top of Mount Coronet, will I be able to see all of Sinnoh? Mount Coronet towers at the center of Sinnoh. In a way, it's the closest place to the sky in this region. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go here. This is a big house, so this has to be Cynthia's grandma, right? Maybe not. My big sister is studying the myths of Sinnoh. She wants to know how people and Pokemon interacted in the days of myths. Were things different back then? Or were they the same as now? She says... <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay, let's talk to... Where are you from? Hmm, Spoonleaf Town, you say? Isn't that close to Lake Verity? That lake is said to be home to Mesprit, the being of emotion. It must be looking over you. Okay, okay. Is that a legendary? There's no Pokemon in this town. Instead, you can buy and sell items in the house right next to me. Okay, like a little mom and pa shop? Oh, yeah, so like a little mom and pa shop. <laughs> Putting on a pair of glasses changes how the world looks. Taking off a pair of glasses changes how the world looks too. Deep, man. So would you like to change how the world looks to your Pokemon? Okay. At night, reflect on what you've learned with wise glasses. Wise glasses boost the power of special moves. Welcome, may I help you? Uh, what do you got? Oh, you got, uh... No, we're good. No. Welcome. May I help you? Oh, you're selling stuff too. Oh, you're selling more stuff. Okay. Um. Hmm. 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 Uh, maybe some great balls. Oh, not that many. Uh, maybe twenty-nine. This way, we always have a hundred. Thank you, madam. Nope, nope, all good. We gotta go talk to a spaceman about a certain thing that he has. Oh, okay, yeah, that is Dialga and Palkia, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not. They look different. Okay. Uh, let's head down. All right, what are you doing? This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist. So I'll blow it up with my galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna mess with me? Yes. You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world. No, the universe even. Uh, are we? Are we? I mean, you're not even a commander, so I don't, I don't know about that. And you're sending out a pewter fly. Okay. We got this. Uh, let's give it a thundershock. Is it a bug flying? Is that why it's super effective? I'm still trying to get familiar with these double typings. It confused me in Sword and Shield, and it's confusing me now here, too.
Who else? Uh, Krogonk. Uh, no, we're good. We're good. It's a baby Pokemon. We got it. We got it. Uh, back with the Thundershock. Oh, that's rude. Oh, you're holding up. Okay. Um, let's go for a spark. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I just worked over and by a kid, no less. Too much to handle. Whatever, I'm out of this one horse town. There's nothing to do here anyways. All right, bye. Oh, hello, is this Cynthia's grandmama? Well, aren't you quite the trainer? That was magnificent. As the elder of Celtic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm? May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver it to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. This old charm is something made in Celtic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celtic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Uh, okay. Well. Trainers. I think that's a good place to stop for today. Uh, next episode. We're going in the ruins. Uh, Grandma Ma said we should go in, so we're gonna go in. And also, too, someone checked me on this. I know it's a different region, but doesn't this look like the little, uh, little pedestal that was in... Uh, Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, where you were able to get a Celebi, or maybe that was like the rumor back in the day that the Celebi was in here, but I don't remember. I never caught a Celebi back when those games came out, so I, I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for hanging out. Always appreciate the company. Don't forget, if you're new or coming back around, give this video a like, subscribe, head to the comments, let me know your tips and tricks for first-time Pokemon Diamond Pearl gamers like myself, and Enjoy your day. I will I will be back very soon with another another Pokemon Shining Pearl episode. I will see you then. Bye-bye.